Hey kiddos, what's up? I'm your host, Sarah Priebus. It's Thursday night, we're coming to the end of International Women's Day, so guess what? For the added price of nothing, I'm about to give you some extra learning. Can we talk about Nancy Wake, a decorated spy during World War II? Nancy was responsible for saving hundreds of Allied soldiers. Vive la resistance! We also gotta give it up for Marsha P. Johnson an activist and drag performer who was a major force in the gay liberation movement and an icon to many. Yes, girl. Finally, how can we talk about International Women's Day without talking about Oprah Winfrey, Queen O? From a crazy difficult childhood to one of the first African-American billionaires, Oprah's glow up is legendary. I think 963,000 of you are ready to glow up right now. I see you, 960,000 players live from around the world, ready to compete in the ultimate trivia showdown. So let's get to it. You're gonna have to answer 12 questions with 10 seconds. If you get them all right, then you win tonight's prize, which is $2,500. So much money, so little time. Ah, time the one thing that money can't buy, but that's literally the only thing. So this is still an amazing prize. All right, here we go. We're almost at a million. Q1, a million! In the old saying, when life gives you lemons, you should do what? Return those lemons, make lemonade, or build a lemon house. I'll tell you what you shouldn't do. Don't throw them at people, it's not nice. And it's not what they're good for. They're good for making lemonade. The correct answer is make lemonade. Beyonce knew this one. Did you? 975,000 of you did. Yeah, when life gives you lemons, make some lemonade. We're giving you Q2. Let's see what you make of this one. What implement would you use to sweep dust from a floor? Broom, saucepan, or pliers? Um, is this a Q2 or... A passive aggressive hint from my roommate. I get it, okay? I need to sweep. I'll do it later. Jeez. <sighs> the correct answer is broom. It's broom. Yeah, 959,000 of you staying in here. Well, whether you're a neat freak or a witch on the go, nothing beats the humble broom. Q3. Which of these sports does not typically use any kind of net? Badminton. American handball or ice hockey? All I know is if it did have a net, Serena Williams would be amazing at it. She kills at everything. But the correct answer is American handball. Cause hockey uses two mats, badminton uses a big one. Yeah, 838,000 of you knew that. Handball doesn't rely on nets. You just hit a ball against a wall with your hand and boom, Q4. Which company makes the TI-83 calculator? Acer, Sharp, or Texas Instruments? Don't tell anyone, but I used to cheat with this, and I'm not gonna tell you how. We don't condone cheating, but you can find it online if you want. The correct answer is Texas Instruments. The TI and TI-83 isn't the rapper. Yeah, 790,000 of you, 766 still in this game. Texas Instruments makes these calculators that can read your sign and your cosine. Okay, I'm going off on a tangent. Let's stick with Q5. According to the U.S. government, which of these is correct? Daylight saving time, daylight savings time, or daylight savings with an apostrophe time? Starting this Sunday, everyone. It's spring forward. We lose an hour. <laughs> but on the bright side, it's brighter. The correct answer is daylight saving time. Saving time, no S. 109,702 of you are in, and we have a first savage question of the night. Oh, you poor unfortunate souls that are out on Q5. Oh, I feel your pain. Oh, though people often say all kinds of things for this, the correct term is saving. The idea is that you're saving daylight. You're not opening a daylight savings account. Q6. 
Which of these is an official regulation for U.S. bourbon production? Less than 50% corn, made in Kentucky, or aged in oak container? Yum. I am more of a rye girl myself, but there are some great bourbon-based cocktails you can make when you're old enough. I like the Old Fashioned or the Manhattan. Correct answer is aged in oak container. Who likes their bourbon? 45,220 of you. The bourbon's got to be at least 51% corn, made in the U.S., but not necessarily Kentucky, and aged in a brand spanking new oak container. Q7. Thanks to how the French language works, what is NATO called in France? Nayote, Noda, or Otan? So when you choose a language elective and you start learning the language and the sentence structures get all jumbled, for example, the fast dog jumped over the small log turns into like jump dog fast small the, like that. The correct answer is Otan. In French, adjectives come after the noun. 15,459 of you knew that. Yes, the organisation du traité de l'Atlantique la Nord. Oh, this is why we just say OTAN. It's hard. Q8. What was the name of Calvin's school teacher in the comic Calvin and Hobbes? Miss Wormwood, Ms. Braithwaite, or Mrs. Crassbender? My faves gotta be Peanuts. Dennis the Menace, uh, Garfield, a big icon for me, because lasagna. Correct answer is Miss Wormwood. Who read the comics? Who remembers Miss Wormwood? 8,290 of you. I gotta be honest, the only Wormwood I recognize is Roe Dahl's Matilda Wormwood. Another amazing woman, by the way, Matilda. Q9. Which of these words was used for a long time to refer to the letter Z? Izzard, Zephyr, or Zelda? Why they did this, I don't know. Kind of reminds me of when I thought street sweet dreams were made of cheese. Nope, they're made of these. All right, Z is Izzard. The correct answer is Izzard. 970 of you, oh no! Savage question at Q9. Oh, I'm feeling for you 7,300 people that got out on this one. I'm so, that's rough. That's a brutal, brutal question. Izzard was often used in Scotland as a stand-in for Z. And you can still hear it in expressions like from A to Izzard, or if you were to see Eddie Izzard perform, or we're off to see the Izzard. Q10. The lead singer of Oingo Boingo provided music for which of these films? Life of Pi, Her, or Fifty Shades of Grey. Oingo Boingo is a Swahili term supposedly meaning thinking while dancing. I do a lot of thinking while dancing, and mostly I'm thinking, like, do I look weird? Should I be moving my hips more? <sighs> the correct answer is Fifty Shades of Grey, Oingo Boingo. 140 of you, and we have another savage question right after the last one at Q10. Oh my gosh, just savage after savage. It's a hard one tonight. Danny Elfman has got the range. He sang lead for Oingo Boingo. He's a big time film and TV composer, including Fifty Shades of Grey. And I don't know if I should be proud of this, but I actually read all the books, including Grey. Q11. Which of these people has not given a Harvard commencement speech? Madeleine Albright, Oprah Winfrey, or Sonia Sotomayor? Mm. Can you imagine having any of them speak at your commencement? Amazing. I don't even remember who spoke at mine. If it was you, I'm really sorry. The correct answer is Sonia Sotomayor. She's got a reason, too. 46 of you got that. 46. She has a reason not to give a Harvard speech. She went to Princeton. Also, I'm available to speak at your commencement. Just FYI, if you're looking, I'm here. This is it. The final question. You're about to graduate from H University. You have your cap and gown. You might win with honors. Here we go. Q12. In Europe, the two largest channel islands lend their names to breeds of what animal? Sheep, cows, or dogs? 
Think of the two largest channel islands, and then think of the cute little animals. If you count sheep, they help you get to sleep, supposedly. Well, wake up, sheeple, because sheep isn't the answer, okay? Dogs, loyal to a fault. But are they loyal to these two channel islands? The Jersey and Guernsey Islands, large and in charge, are home to the Jersey and Guernsey cattle. Cows is your answer. It's cows. And we have 14 winners. Congratulations, yes. Wow. from H University tonight. This is impressive. Joseph Bear 7, looking real cute with your lady there. Did you wish her a happy International Women's Day yet? E! Are you screaming E right now? Because you're so excited you're taking home $178.57. This is crazy. Shuggy. Oh, I see your throwback Thursday pick, Shuggy, looking real cute. Unless you're a kid. Are you a kid? Are you like five years old and you just won HQ? Because that is impressive. Shun, that is a proper portrait right there. I see you, Shun. I, 14 winners. Huh, it's only Thursday, but because of that game, I'm ready to get my weekend started early. But before we do, if you haven't called your favorite woman today, whether international or domestic, get at it. Thank them for being them. I'm going to call my mom. She's amazing, and I, I don't tell her enough, honestly. I'm Sarah Priebus. Today we talked about real women, but what about fictional ones? Hermione, Katniss, whoever. Send me your faves on social media. And don't forget to play tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern, noon Pacific, and every night at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 Pacific. I'll see you later, Gators. Have a great night.